Ain't going nowhere without this. <laughs> Where would you monk spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wet brother of her. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Come on. Let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much. Falky! Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Hey, uh... How's about a riddle? I'm in no... What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? That looks interesting. <laughs> I like scrapping dirt. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn. Hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. 
Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it is. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming no. him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time. <laughs> Straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, where they make you good and great. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. <gasps> All I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, Maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freyr again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. Uh. 
This river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy ass bastards! Calling all pictures! You want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Give me a boost. <clears throat> you don't go telling no one about that. Come on up. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! Ah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd 
cut off your head when it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Blobber, come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Oh. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million moonbeams. I didn't realize the Halter brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, bro. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir of Vanaheim. Yeah, we've been occupied since. Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos, as long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count a dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, 
Yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on health. I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. An ancient!
wonder I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Remember, it won't do any good to attack while their shields are up. Uh, 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 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. used to play hide-and-seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. So, so, so. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this? The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Ah! <laughs> 
He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. It's Varta. We were taken from our homes as children and raised in your gold. We marched when we drowned. We fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home. Alone. Full of food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns? The fates of these lands? That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. 
because of this champion. The realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, boy. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate. Even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Hmm. Let's cross the bridge now. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Anskotan Asgardar! Vita van Dierstauda! Anskotan Asgardar! Vita van Dierstauda! Go! 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 Go!
Ah! <laughs> 